Uh, well, we have over there an interesting question that is the daily mathematics challenge 44. Yeah, remember that these challenges has, have been going there all the way up to a thousand. Uh, but we are given that the length of a rectangle is increased by 25% while its width is decreased by 5%. Determine the percentage increase in the area of the rectangle. So if you wish actually you can uh, Give a pause to the video you do attempt the question on your own then you come back and check For the solution of the question Yeah, but I believe that you are here because you really want to get into the solution So we can just really get into it together and see how we are really supposed to solve such kind of a question so we have the length of a rectangle being increased and we have the width being decreased and now now we are supposed to find the percentage increase in the area of the rectangle uh, so this is uh, amazing and uh, i can see the question is asking us about the area so we can start with uh, what we already know what we already know that is area So we know that area we find it by doing length multiplied by width so there is something very important that i want you to really check here uh, which is very good if uh, we are given that the length of the rectangle is uh, increased by 25 percent uh, so you know i usually love using diagrams so i think we can uh, really use a diagram over here so this is like an issue and uh, we are told that the rectangle is increased in width or rather is increased by 25 percent that is in terms of length so the length will be a bit longer and now the width is decreased a little bit so our final triangle that is not necessarily to scale but it is just to form a pictorial form in your mind so you have something like that so this is the length this is the length this is the width this is the length and this is the width but now initially this length initially it was 100 percent 100 percent and the width actually was also 100 percent 100 percent so that is something that i want you to note but now the rectangle or rather the length of this rectangle it is increased it is increased so what is being increased is this length over here this length over here this one it is being increased this one it has been increased and uh, it has been increased by what it has been increased by 25 percent so that implies that it will now be 100 percent plus 25 percent and that is giving us 125 percent how that we get that we now go to the length the length or rather the width sorry the width is decreased by five percent therefore it was a hundred therefore this new one it will be a hundred minus five a hundred minus five i hope that we can have that one right here that is uh this one over here this one is now the one that is now being decreased this one is being decreased this one therefore let's decrease it by five percent therefore it will be a hundred minus five that is going to give us 95 percent so that implies that with that we can be able to find the new area the new area of this shape over here remember that initially this one was just w multiplied by l which is lw and now we can have this one new the new the new one over here therefore the new one and there is actually something very important that i want you to note which is actually something that is uh, of great importance to us that hundred percent percent means out of a hundred therefore if this is one this is 125 percent this one is equivalent to 1.25 1.25 without the word percent this one is equivalent to the word or rather to the number 0 0.95 without the word percent therefore the new length is 1.25 l and the new width over here is 0 0.95 w 
So what we have to do is we have to multiply this and find out what we are going to get about that. I don't know if I'm really able to access my calculator. But basically 1.25 multiplied by 0 0.95, that is something that is really supposed to give you something to do with uh, 1.1. 1875 LW. We really don't require to have these uh, shapes over here because that was just there for your own understanding to be able to visualize clearly in your mind what or rather why we end up getting these calculations over there. So we now get into the question determine the percentage increase in the area. So the percentage increase. We get it by, and by the way, I hope that you can see that the area has now increased. It was initially LW, but now it is 1.1875. So there is some aspect of increase over there. And now what we are finding now is now that percentage increase. And let's just get into it and see if uh, we are able to get that. So percentage increase, we do new minus old over old times 100. So this is uh, the static formula for finding the percentage uh, increase or percentage change in anything. We shall take the new value minus the old value divided by old times 100. So therefore we take the new value which is 1.1875. We minus this one. Remember that this one is LW, very important. So we minus LW then over LW then we multiply by a hundred. So once we have that one, so this is like a 1.1875 goat minus one goat. Or rather, we don't have <laughs> we don't have decimal goats. Uh, let's talk of something like um, what can we have as uh, having a point? Let's talk about measurement, like length, like meters. It's like one point. 1875 meters minus 1 meter so that would give us 0 0.1875 meters but now it's not meters it is LW over LW times 100 so LW does with that and now we have to multiply this one 0 0.1875 multiplied by 100 and that is uh, definitely going to shift the decimal places towards right by two therefore we get 18.75 percent therefore the solution for this is 18.75 percent and actually that is uh, the required solution for that question so if you write that one you should really be able to get all the full marks for that question because that is how you are supposed to tackle that question. Visit our website now, countercymathematics.co.ke, to ignite your passion and excellence in mathematics.